Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Saturday, April 15th, 2023. Alright, let's get started. Field of computing. Hmm. I wonder if this is a hidden proper noun. Is there someone named Field? I don't know. Sharp. I guess that could be honed. That would fit. Food traditionally eaten on Japan's Doyo no Ushi no Hi, Midsummer Day of the Ox. I haven't heard of this holiday or this food. Hmm. Plain EG. This is very tricky. A plane is a tool you can use to level out wood. It could also be talking about an airplane. It could be talking about a mathematical plane. Oh man, there's so many options here. One's tracking discoveries? Why is this hyphen here? This is wordplay. Discoveries. Disc ovaries? Hmm. This is so weird. I wonder if it's about discs with music on them. Tracking discoveries. Is it about discovering music somehow? I don't know. Sketchy boardwalk offering. And this is more wordplay, so it's not going to be talking about someone trying to get you into a game of three card Monty. Sketchy. I wonder if they're talking about chalk art on the boardwalk. Hmm. Or maybe it's talking about a caricature. Somebody could offer to sketch your portrait, right? I wonder if it is caricature. Would that fit? Let's see if that fits. Let's see if I can spell caricature. Caric... No, that's way too long. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Actor in American Psycho and Nightmare Alley. It's not Christian Bale. I'm so hungry, and this is a bracket clue, so we need a nonverbal equivalent to I'm so hungry. It's not a rumble in your stomach. Hmm. Little brook. There's so many words for little streams of water. Hmm. I don't know. Leading to toxicology. Is it eco? Ecotoxicology? I guess it could be. Not look fresh in a way. There's so many options here. Oh my god. We just need something that's solid here. Hilarious person colloquially. Hmm. So this is someone that's funny. Land clearing tractor attachment. I have no idea. Clearing. Virtuosi? Uh, I wonder if this is Maestros? Would that fit? It would. Oh man, let's hope that's right. Kind of button. Oh my god. Is it a belly button? There's a million options here, too. Note taker. And this is wordplay. So it's not going to be about someone taking notes in class. I would want this to be about a bank teller. That would be a kind of note taker. Teller wouldn't fit here though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Nickname for Francis Louis the Sixth with the. I definitely don't know Louis the Sixth nickname. Oh my god. Many a unicorn. Many. I mean, what could this be talking about? Many a unicorn? Are they talking about like a tech startup, that kind of unicorn? Hmm, maybe. Smoking. It's not a fire. Impressive hire in business lingo. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't go to business school. Company with a long time links to Westinghouse. Westinghouse is like a technology company. Hmm. Company. I don't know. Papal Topper. 
Okay, that's going to be a miter. That's the kind of pointy popat. Update, maybe. Hmm. Is this an update on a website? This is also very ambiguous. Let out. Again, that's such an ambiguous clue. Hmm. This isn't Samsung. That would actually fit. Let out. Hmm. Ving of Mission Impossible movies. Okay, thankfully I know that's Ving Rames. I think his name is spelled like this. Word with party or park. Hmm. Party. This is probably a C, S, or a T. Shoe brand whose name evokes flight. Is that a Via? Okay. Well, we have a V. Words said when one is speechless. I can't even. Okay, we finally have something to build off of over here. Clips in brief. Are these video clips? Maybe it's vids. Brio. That's kind of energy, so maybe this could be Vim? Yeah. G as for Google. I guess that's the Google icon. Remoulade ingredient. I've heard of this before. I'm not really sure what it is. Group influenced by the 1963 book, The Feminine Mystique. Hmm. Group. The Feminine Mystique. I'm not sure which group this would be talking about. May I sit here? An equivalent phrase. I would really want this to be, do you mind? Nice. We got a couple of really good phrases over here that we were able to get pretty easily. Um, maybe this is mayo? Produce in pods. Okay, I bet that's gonna be snow peas. Nice. Okay, so this is now. That's like the National Organization of Women, I think. Yeah, that seems right. Okay. Word with party or park. Oh, it's a theme park. And then a theme party. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so I still am going to have a lot of trouble with this nickname. This is looking like it's going to be Siemens. Okay, that's another technology company. That makes sense. Update. Is it a trend? That doesn't really seem to make sense to me. Let out. That seems like it should be emit. Although, team mend is definitely wrong. So maybe this is not a miter. Really? Uh, this should be amend, right? Papal topper. What? It's not a miter? That is so weird. Frank Blank, progressive era novelist who wrote The Octopus and McTeague. I don't think I've ever heard of this writer. Uh oh. Hmm. This area is going to be trouble. I wonder if we can get lucky and get this long across. Your point being an equivalent phrase. Well, I'm not sure what it should be, but it seems like we should be able to get it with some crossing help. Impressive hire. Hmm, boy, I don't know. I think we're gonna have to start fresh somewhere. Maybe we can get this? Many a unicorn. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a startup. Oh wait, that doesn't fit. So I guess that means maestros is probably wrong, yeah. Okay, so let's put in startup. Let's make it tech startup. That's what we wanted it to be all along. It may have a mess in the army. Are they talking about the mess hall? It may have a mess. Hmm. Barely beats. It's not ekes out. Is it edges? Hilarious person. Let's see if this ends in a G. Words on the street. Is that slang? That would make sense, okay. Sings about. I wonder if this is ratting on someone. Yeah, this could be rats on, right? Like a criminal might do. Smoking. 
Hmm, this looks a little weird. It may have a mess in the army. Hmm. Best Supporting Actress winner whose parents have each been nominated for supporting Oscars, but never won. Oh my god. Okay, so this person's parents are both actors. I have no idea. We'll probably recognize this person, though. Shoe with a boo? That really should be scare away. Nice. Okay, that looks really good. Spread. Is this about a bunch of food? Hmm. I'm not sure. Some short-lived particles. It's not ions? Hmm. Fluff. Fluff? Is this like an insignificant news story? What are they talking about here? Sleezo, is that a cad? Millions of Ghanaians ethnically. Oh god, I have no idea. Boris Pasternak heroine. I don't really recognize this name. I'm not sure which book this is talking about. Red Blank, another name for a bobcat? Well, just with this Y in here, I think we could put in links. That makes sense. Follower of alto or tenor. That could be a sax, yeah. Hmm. Oh, man. I don't know if I'm going to know this ethnicity. Subject of modern medical research. I wonder if it's a cell? That seems like a pretty good guess. Maybe it's a stem cell. Yeah. Fluff. It's not errata. Hmm. Some short-lived particles. I wonder if that's taus. I think there is a tau particle. Spread. Maybe that's just scatter, yeah. Uh, is this Laura Dern? I do know her parents are actors. That makes sense. So this is use? I've never heard of that before, and this is Laura. Hmm. Fluff. Is it an error? Part of a crater. Yeah, that could be a rim. I've never heard fluff used to describe an error before. That's very tricky. Your point being? Meaning what? Nice, okay. State line. And this is wordplay, so it can't be about the border of a state. State line. Is it a motto? Is it like a state motto? I guess that could be. New York State's motto is Excelsior. Okay, cancellations. Hmm. Well, I like these first two letters. Phone number. And this is wordplay, so it's not about a phone number you would dial. Is it about a song that would be on a phone? Yeah, it could be a ringtone, right? That's a really funny one. Fam figure. Could that be a sis? Some pasta. Hmm. Some pasta. It's not Semolina. Hmm. Blank Vincent, bluegrass singer inducted into the Grand Ole Opry. I'm not sure if I'm gonna know that one. What is this? Is it a Miata? Oh no. Oh, this is terrible. Oh no, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of trouble here because of this name. Uh-oh, and this name too, oh god. This is a disaster. Well, let's hope we can work up from the bottom and make some plausible guesses. I am very worried about this section though. Payment standards. Hmm. Flash event in a clothing store say. I don't know, is it a one day sale? That would fit. It's tough though. Bun topper. Is this talking about a hamburger bun or a bun that someone would wear in their hair? I don't know. 
School of Whales. Okay, we learned this word a couple of weeks ago. This is a gam. In addition to being a pod, a school of whales can be a gam, yeah. Bakery buy, that could be rye. Miss? This has gotta be about missing someone, right? Or I guess it could be a lass, right? A young woman? Barrier Island that hosts the Venice Film Festival. I don't know if I know this one. Curriculum Vitae? Yeah, that's kind of your resume. Blank Life. Nomadism popular on social media. That's gotta be Van Life. Hmm. Who had us at Hello? And this is wordplay, so it's not talking about Jerry Maguire. Hmm. Had us at hello. What is this talking about? Hmm. Poked into. I wonder if this is nosed into. You're being very nosy. Yeah. Payment standards. What is this talking about? Is this talking about a salary? Hmm. On topper. Is it a sesame seed? It is talking about a hamburger bun. That's very cute. Okay, so who had us at hello? This is looking totally unfamiliar. Oh no. Is this gonna be a name? It is asking who. I wonder if this is gonna be no-nos, cancellations? It feels like it should be no-shows, not no-nos. Maybe it's no-goes, that makes a lot more sense. Payment standards. Does it start with gold? What if this was a D? It could be, oh god, this name. Uh, payment standards. Gold grates? Oh my god. What if this was an L? Some pasta. Sottles? That looks very strange. Well, we can take this M out, right? This isn't a miter. Hmm. I don't think that helps very much. It may have a mess in the army. Oh, I guess this could be a tent, right? There could be a mess tent. They asked about a mess tent in MASH a couple of weeks ago. Okay. Smoking, maybe that's red hot. Hilarious person. Oof. Land clearing tractor attachment, maybe it's a hoe? I don't know what kind of hoe it would be. Virtuosi. Hmm. Impressive hire in business lingo. Oof, I have no idea. Is it the fat? Is this an F? Note taker. Hmm. It's not a steno, is it? I don't know about that. Kind of button. Oh boy. We are in some trouble here. Hmm. Let me poke around in this section and see if I can get a foothold. And then maybe by some miracle we can work back down. All right, wish me luck. Okay, I had a thought here. I was thinking a note taker could be somebody that steals money. It could be a thief. And that would work with our Louis the Fat here. And then maybe this kind of button could be a reset button. Yeah, that doesn't really help too much. We got the last letter of all of these, but I guess it's something. All right, I'm gonna try and see if I can get any more breakthroughs here. You know what? I was looking at this just now and I think maybe I was spelling caricature wrong. Is it like this? Caricature? That would actually fit. And I think that looks pretty good. And then maybe that means this can be eco. Not look fresh in a way. I don't know, is it sag? Hmm. Hilarious person. What is this? Land clearing. It feels like this could be so many things. 
Virtuosi. Is it artists with an E? Yeah, maybe that is it. Impressive hire. I don't know, is it like triple E? It doesn't seem like it. It seems like this has to be a consonant. Hmm. Field of computing. Oh my god. Once tracking discoveries. I want it to be about DJs or something. Uh, I feel like we're so close to breaking through here. I wonder if we can build off of caricature. Sharp. Hmm. I'm so hungry. I wonder if this could be a rill. That's a small brook. I don't know how much that's going to help, though. Field of computing. I wonder if this is about AI. Hmm. One's tracking discoveries. All right. Well, let me struggle with this a little bit longer, and I'll come back to you if I get it figured out. Okay, well, I was having so much trouble with the northwest corner that I decided to poke around down here again, and I finally figured some stuff out down here. I was at first looking at this pasta clue, and I saw that this should really be bow ties, right? So it's not sis, it's sib, it's a sibling. So that lets us put in bow ties. Um, I actually remembered that the island in Venice is called Lido. I know I saw that on a puzzle maybe last year. It just came to me. Oh man, that is brutal. And then who had us at Hello? That was Adele, right? Hello is an Adele song. And then it took forever to see what this should be. I kept thinking this is greats, but this G is part of the first word. It's going rates. Yeah, oh man, that took forever to fall into place. Uh, I think that means that this has to be Rhonda Vincent. And this is still very dicey. It's maybe going to be Norvis? Normis? It feels like it could be a lot of things. Oh god, this is a disaster. Alright, well, let's come back to this. This is going to have to be our last couple of squares. But let's see if I can finally untangle this corner up here. Okay, I finally got the pun here. I was thinking, I wonder if they're talking about flying discs, like UFOs? And I was trying to fit in SETI somehow, people that are trying to track down UFOs. And then it finally hit me, just trying to put in any letters that make sense here. I think this has to be Stitch, somebody that's hilarious. And I think this has to be an S, so... I think this is going to be ufologists. Yeah. Oh my god, that is so tricky. And then maybe this is sag. Um, it seems like this is maybe a push hoe. I've never heard of that before. Field of computing. Respar? Hmm. And this is an actor. Sharp. I wonder if that's acute. Plane, e.g. What kind of plane are they talking about, and what would it be an example of? Hmm. Was Willem Dafoe in American Psycho? Is this an address bar? Oh my god, it's a field that you would enter text into. Oh, that's brutal. So this is a bush hoe. Oh my god. Okay, uh, hmm, I'm gonna guess that this is Willem Dafoe. I'm so hungry. What is this? Is it droll? That doesn't make any sense at all. Plane. Is it a tool? Oh my god, yeah, it's a woodworking tool. So this is droll. Oh my god, why didn't I think of that? Ugh, that is brutal. All right, so now we're really going to have to struggle with these two letters here. I really have no idea what these are going to be. Let's just try and put in a couple of plausible guesses here. 
For some reason, I want this to be Norvis. I don't know why. And this just seems like it could be any consonant. So let's just throw in a C, I guess. Oh, crumbs. Yeah. Let me run the alphabet a little bit and see if we can get lucky here. Wait a minute. If this is Norris, that's a perfectly normal last name. Could this be a tiara? Does the Pope wear a tiara? Is that right? Let's see if this is a tiara. Hmm. Okay, it's not. All right, back to running the alphabet. Ooh, a Saturday puzzle in 51 minutes. That was a brutal solve. So I ended up feeling like Tiara and Norris was the most likely answer. And I started looking at this across answer, impressive higher, and it just looks so strange with those two E's. So I ran the alphabet on this letter and it ended up being wrong. It was a bush hog, not a bush hoe. Oh my god, and this is a get, which I guess makes sense, but uh, it just wasn't coming to me. This section was so difficult. This intersection of Norris, Rhonda, a tiara, a pope wears a tiara? I thought they wore a mitre. That's such a weird way to clue tiara. And then bush hog? If you've never seen this before, this is really, really hard. This whole section was just killer. And then Stitch also was very difficult. We also had Rill here, which is a very tricky bit of vocab. I had trouble with Defoe, even though I've seen this movie. There was also this section down here. Instead of cluing this as sheep, they clued it as a ethnic group. Oh my god. And Lara, I didn't know that one either. That was a tough stack also. Lido is very tricky. Yeah, this puzzle is very, very nasty. It's got a bunch of pitfalls that would be very easy to fall into. Holy moly. Yeah, we almost didn't even finish this one. This was very difficult. There was a lot of good cluing, though. I had a lot of fun with this one, Sketchy Boardwalk Offering. We wanted caricature right from the start, and if I had been able to spell it correctly, I think that would have really helped this solve. This was very nasty, too. Field of computing. Yeah, it's not a field of study in computing. It's a field where you enter data. Ufologists, discoveries, holy moly. This unicorn clue was very tricky also. Yeah, this was a very unforgiving puzzle. This section down here wasn't too bad. Sesame Seed is pretty cute. This we finally got a toehold into. I can't even undo you mind. Yeah, but just the ambiguity of so many of these clues made this puzzle so difficult sings about that could have been about a lot of different things fluff for error was very difficult spread that's super ambiguous yeah man what a tricky puzzle i did like this clue for ringtones though phone number that's a great pun on the word number there but man i'm just happy we finished this one this was very very tricky all right well i hope you enjoyed solving that one with me don't let that very challenging puzzle scare you away, because I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice long lazy Sunday solve. Alright, I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time.